सो बिटवीन क्रिकॉइड टू स्टर्नम जोन वन बिटवीन दिस एंगल ऑफ मैंडिबल अप टू द क्रिकॉइड वी हैव जोन टू एंड एंगल टू द बेस ऑफ द स्कल वी हैव जोन so hi dreamers let us discuss in this teaser about the zones of neck and neck injury now the zones of neck are very 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 important and integral part of this uh, discussion so let us try to understand this when we talk about the zones of the neck this is for you to understand that this is the neck this is the clavicle this is the clavicle this is the sternum and this is the mandible so in between these two places all the zones are placed so from the base of the skull up to the sternum we have the zones so for your knowledge there is something which is known as cricoid so between cricoid to sternum zone 1 between this angle of mandible up to the cricoid we have zone 2 and angle to the base of the skull we have zone 3 so there are three zones in the neck so let us see let us read this zone 1 sternal lodge to cricoid and zone 2 between the cricoid to the angle of mandible now one very important thing that you all have to understand is what are the important structures located in these zones if you see the great vessels are always there so you have carotid you have the trachea and the esophagus as a part of the standard thoracic inlet if you talk about in the zone 2 it's a carotid vessels along with that you have the nerves and that is what is making zone 2 very 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 important and zone zone 3 basically since the base of the skull is involved you have important cranial nerves yeah hypoglossal glossopharyngeal and then we have some glands also which can be injured or damaged here so salivary and parotid so try to understand what is the biggest concern of any head injury answer is the vascular injury to the main important vessels now let me tell you in a nutshell how to approach the neck injury so whenever you talk about neck injury the next question that should be there is whether the patient is stable or the patient is unstable if the patient is unstable then the next thing that you need to ask is what zone it is if it is a zone 2 surgery is not a difficult thing you make one incision you are down to the platysma so zone 2 injuries you go for surgery neck exploration if it is zone 1 and 3 you have to go for combustion procedure of sternotomy for one mandibulotomy for three so for them you will go for ngo embolization so ngo embolization when you talk about the stable status when you talk about the stable what to do in this case in case of a stable patient you'll go for ct angiography ct angiography and when we are talking about ct angiography what are the important things about ct so either there will be injury or there will be no injury so the if the injury is there yes you will go for surgery but before that always remember in this case also the first priority is given to angio embolization if it fails then surgical exploration if there is no injury if there is no injury then yes continue with the observation and this is what is very 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 important subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from prep ladder Thank you.